Good morning guys and welcome to beautiful Malta. In this video I'm going to be taking you around over the next week photographing this beautiful city. I've only been here for about a day and a half so far and I've already fallen in love with the place. The architecture is unbelievable as you're going to see and I'm shooting on the X100V digital and film I'm shooting on my Canon A1 and my Mamiya 645 and on both cameras I'm going to be shooting Kodak Gold. So let's go! So literally the only bad thing that I can say about this place so far is that every single time I take one of my cameras out of my bike, I have to let it acclimatise because it's currently about 7.45 in the morning and 29 degrees, hence me being in the shade while I record this. Um, but yeah, condensation every time I take one of my cameras out. So. I have to wait for it to clear, clear the lens, and then take my shot, which is not ideal if I spot something that I want to shoot straight away, but I also can't just be walking around carrying three cameras in my hands. It's so beautiful, this place. Okay guys, so today we've come to Medina. So we've come inland to Medina and Rabat, um, which is basically a historic old fort behind, that you can see behind me from the early 16th century. Um, you might recognize the gate behind me because a lot of this has been featured in Game of Thrones. So yeah, we're just gonna have a little look around. It's absolutely boiling today. So definitely gonna be dipping in and out of the sh uh, shadows. Uh, but yeah, let's go see what we can find. So I've just dipped into the shade to get out of the warmth for a bit. It's another boiling day here. But I just wanted to take a minute to talk about one of the reasons why I love Malta so much, even just after being here for what's four or five days now. And that's the huge blend of different influences that you have here. So up until 1964, this was still under British rule. So that is heavily influenced by what you see here. But also you've got the fact that we're just south of Italy. There's a huge Italian influence here. Um, a lot of the people here speak Italian um, and that's reflected in a lot of the heavily kind of Catholicized aspect of the city um, and the country as well. Also added to that, we're not far at all from North Africa. So Tunisia, Libya, they're all very close. And there's a very, very uh, strong Arabic influence here as well. So you've kind of got this melting pot of the three of kind of Anglicized Italian and Arabic culture all kind of in this one big melting pot all together so you never know what's going to be around each corner 
and as a photographer I absolutely love that so hopefully in the images that you have seen and will continue to see they'll reflect exactly that. So another day, another staircase. Um, today's actually our last day. We head to the airport in about four hours. So I'm just finishing off uh, the rolls of film, getting a few last shots, walking around while Hannah finishes topping up a tan. Um, yesterday we had kind of like a touristy day. So we did a boat trip. We went to uh, the Blue Lagoon, which was absolutely heaving and vile to be honest, not my thing, but we then went to Goza, so to the island of Goza, did a bit of sightseeing there, but we didn't have much time there, so I didn't really get much behind the scenes um, or many video clips. I just got a few images that you'll be seeing now. Um, and then on our way back, we um, we then called to the caves off of the island of Camino, so the I believe it's Santa Maria caves. Um, boat went through the caves, and then to be fair, we just came home and got some food and a few drinks. Um, so didn't really take that many images yesterday, although I was really happy with some of the shots from the boat, some of the coastline shots that you'll be seeing now. And then, yeah, just been walking around today, finishing off, like I said, finish off the rolls of film and taking the last few shots. One thing that you will have noticed from this video is I'm absolutely obsessed with the, uh, the hard shadows and hard light that goes onto the buildings here because everything's so narrow. I mean, you can see this street behind me. Because everything's so narrow, and if I turn around, you can see what I'm in here as well. Because everything's so narrow, you just get these really harsh shadows that come down and I just love the way that it looks, especially on the Fuji. Hopefully that'll have come out on the film, but I don't know that yet, obviously, because it's not been developed. So hopefully it looks good on film. If not, I'll probably be adding a clip talking about that here. If not, thank you so much for watching, guys. I know that it's been a while since I put a video out. There's been a lot going off in my personal and professional life. So thank you for bearing with me. I am hoping to get kind of much more regular videos back out now. But other than that, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.